Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. We here at cPanel are proud of our libraries of API functions. They allow developers and hosting providers to automate the deployment and management of our platform. Sometimes, developers want to quickly call an API function. This video tutorial will teach you how to use the API shell interface for cPanel. Before we begin, three things to remember. Only the root user and root enabled resellers may use this feature. You must enable this feature in WHM's Tweak Settings interface. Look in the System tab for cPanel and WHM API Shell for Developer. These functions use your server's live data. We strongly recommend that you don't test these on a live production server. Run these on a test server. Or, because these are cPanel function calls, you can probably run them on a test account and not harm your server's data. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. The cPanel home interface will appear. Scroll down to the Advanced section and click API Shell. The API Shell interface will appear. Your first step is to decide which API call you want to run. Keep in mind that we've deprecated cPanel API 1. You really should use a UAPI variant of an API function if one is available. If UAPI isn't available, try cPanel API 2. All available functions appear in these drop-down menus. Or you can type in the name of the function and the interface will search for the right call. Oh, if you need the documentation for an API call, click the appropriate documentation link. For this demonstration, we'll run email add pop. It's the add email account function. Now, that function requires a few parameters, email and password. It also can accept a few others like quota and domain. I'll enter the parameter names in the key text boxes. If I need more parameters, I can click the Add link. If I need to remove a parameter, I can click the X link. And then I'll enter the values I want to set in the Value text boxes. Sometimes you want to sort, filter, or paginate the results of the API call. We'll click the Show Sort Filter Paginate Options link and a mini menu will appear. We can set the first result to show and the maximum number of results to show. If you click Add by Filters, you can set a filter for a result. There are several types of filters available. If you click Add by Sorts, you can sort the result based on alphabetical results, numeric results, IPv4 address format, or even reverse the order of the results. If you click Add by Columns, you can limit the returns in the function's output. This is useful when you only need to know one or two pieces of information, like an account's email addresses. We won't need filters for this function, so I'll click the Hide link to hide these options again. If you look down here at the URL label, that's the function call that your server will run. I find this very useful for copying and pasting into code. Are we ready? Well, to check the results, click Submit. We can inspect the results with the tree view, the table view, which for this function is not available, or the raw view. The raw view is in JSON format, which should be very useful for understanding how your script or program can parse that output. Did you run into an error? We'll change the name of the mailbox. Let's remove the password parameter. 
and I'll call the function again. The response area returns any errors, such as you forgot to include a required parameter. You can go back and make the correction and click Submit to call the function again. For more information about cPanel, go to our website at cPanel.com or check us out on Twitter at cPanel. Thank you for watching.